You don't give yourself no credit. You give him all the credit. Even for waking up in the morning. You give him the credit. For allowing you to go on your job. You give him the credit. For giving you health and strength. You give him the credit. If everything that you have, you give him the credit. The car you drive, the house you live. Uh, 
uh, and in 2 Chronicles 15 and 7, uh, it says this. It said, Be you strong, therefore, mm -hmm. and let not your hands be weak, right. for your work mm -hmm. shall be rewarded. All right. yeah. Yeah. Come on, Simon. Hope you see that. Yeah. 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 Give it a chance to read 2 Corinthians 15 and 7. Mm -hmm. In other words, everything you do will be rewarded. That's right. Just, 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 in other words, just be strong. Yeah. Don't let your hands be weak. Yeah. In other words, uh, in Escalation 6 and 9, it says, uh, don't be weary and well done. Yeah. Because the new season you will reap right. if you don't fight. Yeah. Right. He's telling us, man, when you, when you are determined, don't worry about what it looks like. That's right. Right. You got to stay strong. Yeah. And if you stay strong, he said, your work will be rewarded. That's right. That's right. And then let me tell you something. Uh, you want the Lord to know your work. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You want him to know. Right. In Revelation, he tells us, I know your work. Right. You don't have to run up there and tell him what you're doing. Right. He already knows. Yeah. And you want the Lord to know your work. Yeah. And those men were determined. Yeah. They wanted to get their friend to Jesus. Yeah. Now, when you look at it, uh -huh. you're wondering how fun they were. Huh. But it didn't matter. The load they had to carry, right. it didn't matter. Yeah. In other words, when they, when they made it to the door, It just did not matter. Yeah. Now let me show you something. You, you have to look at these four men yeah. that was carrying this paralyzed man. Yeah. And listen, you have to know that there were four of them, yeah. which means there was one at each corner. Yeah. Right. Now what you notice in this is that each one carried equal weight. One did not try to Slack and say, let me let my side down. Yeah. They, 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 all four of them kept that paralyzed man yeah. of evil yeah. as they were going to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. They all walked in cordness uh -huh. because if they'd have been out of cordness, it'd have thrown off something. Yeah. Yeah. But they all walked in chaos as they were heading to Jesus uh -huh. because they had made up their mind. Yeah. We're going to take my friend yeah. to Jesus. And watch this. While they were taking him there, they had to have some belief yeah. that once they made it there, yeah. that Jesus was going to be there. Yeah. Now, they, they were walking in faith. Yeah. They were walking in something that they had hoped for. Yeah. They didn't have evidence that he could do it, but they believed he could do it. Yeah. I just stop by and let you know you ought to have some faith also. You see, they were learning about Jesus. See, Jesus had died for them when, when they made it up there. But Jesus died for us. We ought to have faith that the same Jesus that died for us. Watch this here. The faith we should have if he don't heal me. If he don't move my sickness, I'm still good. You see, when I say the Lord want to heal us, let me tell you something. He want to touch our mind to let all of us know if sickness come upon me, I'm still going to trust in the Lord. I'm not going to preach to you that he's going to heal everybody. Because everybody will not be healed. But can I tell you, if you let it, you'll heal your mind. Yeah. And see, your, your mind is healed. Yeah. Your body just has to follow you. Yeah. If your mind been healed, it don't matter what you have. Yeah. Folks will look at you and say, man, I don't know how you keep going. Because you should not even be going. Yeah. 
And see, when your mind heals, then watch this. If your mind heals, then you accept the grace of God. And once you accept this grace, oh, you keep going. Yes. Paul, when Paul asked him three times to move that stone, he told him, my grace is enough. It's sufficient. That's all you need. Matter of fact, if I'm healthy, I still need grace. Let me tell you something. If you don't believe this, let your mind tell you you can't do nothing. All right. Your body don't say you sure can. That's right. See that? Because what it is, you need grace in all situations. When I say you need grace, you need grace. I thank God that He allows us to be able to walk. Those of us who can walk. We thank God. I thank God for that. One time. Uh -huh. And my legs started moving. There was no one time to run. You, you know, you know, uh, if you've been out there black folks, if somebody running, you run it. <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. You see them run, you run it. You ask them later what was going on. But if you see somebody running towards you, they got the same way. And I said, now that I've got more. I said, one day I told my legs to run, and my legs. They made it to their destination. Now let me tell you something. Once they made it to their destination, they found the problem. They made it. This is where they wanted to come. They wanted to come where Jesus was. And watch this. The Bible says Jesus was in the house teaching. Giving them the word. He was giving them the word of God. He was teaching them. The man had so many people in the house, at the door, and I know it was with Jesus they had a line. Because they just wanted to know more, but they couldn't hear, they wanted to see him. And those four made it there. That was a problem. That was a problem. No word, they couldn't get in. But the crowd was now against the door. They couldn't get in. Yeah. So you know something? If you're not dedicated, All right. I see you. if you're not determined, All right. you turn around. Right. You turn around and say, well, you know, uh, I know my friend, we did all we could. Yeah. We brought you, but you've seen the cry. Yeah. Yeah. You saw we can't get in. Yeah. So let's go back home. Right. Let me tell you something. I, and you and I, when we come to church, I should never go back home. Yeah. Until I get what I came for. If I came here for a peace of mind, I should not leave here. Until I get a peace of mind. If I came here for a work, I should not leave here and go back home without getting the word. Whatever you come for, you ought to get. If it's no more than an understanding in the scripture, you should not go back home until you get what you came for. Sometimes you got to be almost like Jacob. When the angels, when they wrestle all night long, when they wrestle all night long, and the angel was saying, I'm going to get ready to leave here. Jacob said, Look, you can't leave here until you bless my soul. Now you got to wrestle and say, Lord, I can't let you leave here until you bless my soul. And the problem was there. But watch this here. Those four friends. Yeah. They begin to say with themselves, there must be a way. Yeah. 
that we can get into Jesus. I know the crowd in the front. I know it's all packed around, but there must be a way to get in. I don't know what you want to know. They said, but there's a roof. I see a roof up there. I don't see nobody on the roof. Because I don't see nobody on the roof. All right, those of us that brought him, lift. Grace is on the other side. 
And at the back, you have a good friend. And you have mercy. And the reason why I believe that is because the song that said goodness and mercy. You will follow me all the days of my life. So I believe that goodness and mercy was in the back. And they were making their way to Jesus. Because I want you to know pride will make a difference. Yeah. And pride changes things. Yeah. Not only that, but I know I had grace in the front. Yeah. Because I want you to know we're being carried by grace. Yeah. Every now and then, I don't mind hearing the song by the grace of God. Yeah. We've come a long way. Yeah. Then I know that we are traveling up this dangerous highway. Yeah. But I want you to know something. I heard a song that I hadn't heard in a long time. And the song was, every day as I walk this narrow way. Those fiction affect my soul. But all oh, I am determined to reach my goal. Let me tell you, I've got to have Jesus. I just can't make it by myself. And you have to be dedicated if you want to reach your destination. If you put these together, you will reach your destination. But I'm here to tell you when you reach your destination, it's not the end of the story. I know, I know, I know, I know we are determined to make heaven our home. But I stop by to tell you, I just don't want to make it to heaven gate. Yeah. We 
Church say 